All right, guys, we're back here at the building today. Uh, we're getting the upstairs finished up, all the little final things we have to do. Here, I'll show you. Our dumpster's getting pretty full, and if you see those things that look like butcher blocks, that's actually this old glue lamb that we're taking out. This is the last of the original beams. Uh, well, no, there's one more. We have to wait till we get that cement job done up front to get the new post in, but as you can see, we're taking that out. We got our temporary wall support in the roof here or the ceiling which there's not much up there not no weight really i mean there's weight obviously but this is basically 10 two by fours just stacked that's the old beam so the new one's gonna we're gonna cut these out and tuck it in so we'll have a lot more headroom because these ones are uh, 14 inches and then once they're tucked in those are six bys so we'll have some more headroom this thing just sticks down i mean that thing's massive and um get that done i showed you guys the steps already the last thing we need to do up here um, other than the mechanical and all that, we got to put one last piece of subfloor. I don't know why we just haven't done it yet. And then under here is where the air conditioning vents and uh, heat vents are going to be. And we'll need to chase that out once they come and finish doing the HVAC stuff. And then up here, it's really ready to uh, finish putting the last couple wires in and last couple wires in and uh, start doing the drywall and all that stuff. We have to finish insulating after the inspector comes and checks the wires and all that. But up here is almost done. Downstairs, we're waiting on that cement work. Um, to get done so we can finish that front half of the building and then uh we're getting there guys all right so here's how much headroom we're gonna get out of this i mean we got i don't know how much it is how many inches is that mike i don't have my handy dandy ruler three six nine nine inches so we're gaining a nine inch headroom which i don't know if i walked through here before i'd knock my noggin so now i got the headroom and uh anyone who is not vertically challenged like old he didn't see the problem. Mike's like, what's wrong? I don't understand. <laughs> but we got to put the last couple supports here uh, to hold that up, and that's that. And then we got to basically tie all these um, joists into it with some hangers, and then we're going to rip the rest of that out. As you can see, the new beam is in. Look at that headroom. Holy moly. We gained about a foot, I think. Um, we had to bracket all these joists in there, so we had uh, just to strengthen the upper floor a little bit more because it's just two by sixes, uh, but we doubled them up there. And some of them, some of them had to be doubled up. As you can see, like they just had big chunks missing. So we figured it'd be safer than uh, doing them with the singles. But now I can walk through here and not hit my head. And um, yeah, that's that. That's a beam. That's a wrap. Upstairs is pretty much done. We got this last piece of subfloor put in, as you can see over here. So you can't see down to the first floor anymore. All the subfloor is down. Um, next step is I got the windows on order for these windows because we needed to get the... Uh, the black frames uh, that match the rest of the windows. And we're gonna go with on this window here, a glass block window, just because I'm not gonna reach it from there and I'm not gonna keep that board there. That's just when we were nailing, we had a little board we could walk across to uh, nail these beams in. But that's gonna be a glass block window since it's not gonna be openable, operationable, openable? I don't know. But anyways, guys, there you have it. Second floor is pretty much done. Um, I gotta do a little bit more cleaning up and then we're gonna finish the third floor. Um, I think I showed you guys that already, but I'm not sure. So I've been here so so long, I can't really keep track. So as you can see, yeah, I think I might have showed you guys this already. We got the one wall framed out. We still need to do the other two. And then this wall here um, for this area. But other than that, yeah, upstairs is done. It's almost ready for drywall. Hi. All right, you see your brother over there? Mommy's holding him so he doesn't fall. He shouldn't be out there by himself though, right? Yeah. What do you think, Tyler? Did we get a lot of work done? Yeah. Did you help? Yeah. You did? What'd you do? What do you think, Mom? All right, let's Holly see you guys over in that one. All of us. All right, you guys go over there. I'm going to keep an arm on Tally. Let's see. Let's see. You see Mommy a trip? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Ugh. Put the saw blade down, child. They're not live. They're So basically what happens when we were doubling these up, we had to pull them out because I see those holes. Don't play with them, please. Yeah, you never know if it's going to be a live wire or not, John. So those holes there are where the wires were going through, and we had to tip, pull them out oh. so we could put these other boards in. They're all dead, wait, so. Wait, so wait, why aren't these? You this one these is, are... these are hooked up. These are live. These are the oh, ones that go to those live. lights outside, so I didn't mess with those ones because oh. we didn't have an electrician. It was just us doing it. <laughs> it's not hard. They're not hooked to anything. Yeah. What is with you and picking up all the heavy hammer? Look at it. All those nails. Yeah, those roof guys did a horrible job. That's why they're not coming. That's why they're not getting the front of the roof job because they didn't clean up anything. Like all that stuff's gonna blow into the driveway. 
It's not gonna blow into it. I gotta, I'm gonna have to climb up there with that magnet and clean it up. So yeah, what do you think? I mean, this giant beam going that opens us up a ton. Yeah, a lot. It makes a big difference. Hey John, what do you think? Do you know what that beam used to be, John? Come look, you can see it in the dumpster. I'll show you. You know what used to be up there? Come here. Look down in the dumpster. And you see those big, big, big boards that look like a bunch of boards together next to the Red Bull can? That tall one that's got nails sticking on? That's what used to be that beam. There's like 10 boards glued together. Where's where's your room going to be, John? Up in the attic? Up in the attic. And I'm going to put a door that locks here so you can't get out. No, don't you. Why not? We're getting a little bit of uh, handicraft work here, right? <laughs> What are you drawing, Tolly? She's making her mark on the uh, building here. All right, guys, we're back at it again. I just got back with some windows, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Not as nice as it's been, but what we got going on now, we got Carl here. Carl is bending metal. He is a metal, metal bending fool. This metal thing's pretty bend. cool, right? What's this thing called? This is a break. A break. He's not breaking it, though. He's bending it. It should be called a bend. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And then you got Mike, who's like a nimble, acrobatic ninja, squirrel type fella up here, putting up the new uh, soffit and fascia, which looks really good. You know it's nice out because Mike's not wearing a beanie. <laughs> but you can see the old fascia and uh, soffit here, which obviously was in dire need of a uh, facelift. So we're replacing it. It's going to be the black metal that was going to match all the windows, except for the one in front of Mike. We have that one on order. Still waiting on that. And uh, yeah, but that's what we're doing. I have to go get some giant beams though. I have to go get their posts, some eight by eight, eight foot posts that are massive. It's basically a square tree. So I'm gonna go get those. We need to put those in the basement to shore up underneath the uh, the beams there. So, all right guys, I figured I'd just let you know what we had going on. And everyone loves Carl. I'm gonna get a theme song from Carl. What do you want for your theme song? Uh... I'm thinking like do 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 do. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Either that or what's that Benny Hill right, so one? Here with Deadpool, as you can see, and I'm tearing out these old front steps. So these are coming out, getting them all out, and the new ones are going to come in up this way. But uh, have a little dilemma, right? How am I going to get back up? That's not true. There's a door behind me. So this is probably the first time, maybe the second or third time I've actually had this door open since I bought this building. It's really old and really crappy. And it's really hard to shut with one person, but I got some buddies here, so we'll be able to push it shut and lock it. But that's getting replaced too. But for now, I'm going to get back to getting the steps out and uh, filling this dumpster up. The dumpster guy was supposed to be here like two Mondays ago. So he didn't show up. So we're just gonna, we're going to keep piling it in. We're going to fit it in there. We climbed up in the dumpster once and uh, kind of rearranged everything so it's not too high. I think we should be able to get the rest of this stuff. Front house torn out. I got to still go down there and close the door, but I'll show you. These glass block windows will be going in a couple of these windows here. So we're replacing that one, that glass block window there. And the reason being is it leaks and it won't match the other ones. And glass block windows aren't that terribly expensive. So I'd rather have it all match. And then up here, since I'm not going to be opening and closing that window, that's going to be replaced with glass block. And then the one that's uh, in the attic, we're going to be replacing as well. So here, let me show you what we got done over here. Step over my pile of lumber. I know some of you guys have probably seen this before, all the new people. Um, this is the main drag here, and this is going to be the new steps. So the old steps, you could see the outline. You'd walk in and you'd turn. Well, this front wall is getting pushed out to the edge of the sidewalk since we have all that extra space. And uh, the new steps will come in up here. So this is going to be cut out here, and it's a... Uh, too old for that but i'll show you so basically this is getting ripped out the rest of the way there used to be a little planter there and then the new wall is going to get bumped out to this so the windows will come down a little bit farther they'll probably be i don't have my measuring tool but they'll probably be right about there about halfway down the door so this door will get kicked out so you'll come in now and then you'll hit the steps come up the steps um and go in there there'll be another little knee wall here like a masonry knee wall so you won't see the crawl space and this will be flooring. Obviously, we have to build this out to where the new area is going to be. And no, this area here is obviously not handicap accessible, but we do have a ramp and everything going on on the side, which will probably, honestly, end up being the main entrance. If you think about it, that's where everyone's going to park. So you can see there's tons of cars here, a lot of traffic. 
So this is obviously all gonna be redone. I'm glad that dumpster's still here. I'm gonna say it again. But the new ramp will come in over here. So you'll come up here, there'll be uh, steps that come up to there, to this porch, and it's all getting rebuilt. And then you start, the ramp will start here and go down that way, basically where the ladder is cut over, and then come back up. And then you'll be able to come. All right, well, they delivered the metal. This is what I gotta get moved inside right now. Probably not gonna be able to get this in by myself, so I'm gonna call some friends to see if I can get some help. But uh, this is it, this is what we were waiting on for the metal. And then uh, I got a cement guy coming to rip out that front, and then I'm gonna get the cement poured and we'll be ready to go, so. Get All right, so the concrete guy's here, he's busting up the cement, the old walkway that was there, and then he's gonna do the front of the building, so. He's pretty good at driving that thing. He ripped out the two old uh, footings for the old garage in the back, and then he's tearing this stuff up. got a jackhammer on the front. I'm assuming that's for the front of the building. Or for here. He's got this slab. He's got a forklift. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's breaking right up. That's good. That old cement wasn't very deep, I take it. Let's see. See? This is the best $600 I ever spent. Cause if I had to bust that stuff up by hand, nope, no thank you. All right, I'm gonna let him get back to work and I'll show you what he's using the jackhammer in the front of the building. Actually, this is pretty entertaining to watch. I'm not gonna lie. That old sidewalk's coming right up. All right, so we got it all torn up. Still needs to get it in the bucket and throw it in there. But he's done a pretty good job. Busting it up. Those steps got tapped a little bit, but uh, they're fine because they're getting replaced anyways. So let's walk around and see what he's doing on the other side. Well, that was easy. Just pop those things right out. I thought he was going to be out here chiseling them away, but I'm super glad that he's doing that with that machine and I'm not digging this up by hand because, well, I'm fat and old. He does the job. Let's see how he does with the rest of these. Here it comes. Don't hit the sign. Just pops right up. Yeah. That's probably uh, a lot easier than me trying to do it. Give it to him. All right, I'm gonna go get back to work. As fun as this is watching. All right, so we got all this cement ripped out here um, so we can get our footings put in so we can replace this. Well, not the top, but the porch and start getting the handicap ramp put in. I didn't have him tear out all this asphalt because the asphalt guy is gonna tear it out and that's included in what I'm paying and I didn't want to have a mud pit right in front of my uh, thing. This young man here is skilled. <laughs> I'm just showing everybody what a fine job you did. Although he did crash into his dad's truck. <laughs> yeah, very good point. So, got this all out now, so that's done. Um, We'll be able to get all this stuff the footers poured dug out we'll go from there all right guys well that's one last step um towards getting that front done we got the metal here yesterday brought that in so we're gonna start moving once that's in uh things should start rolling pretty quickly here so i'm gonna go get back to work but i figured i'd share this update with you guys and i'll catch you next time